You know, I've got to say, 2017 was the worst year of my life by far. Every single thing that could have gone wrong did go wrong for me. From my grand's cancer, to my own personal financial problems, at the start of the year, to me getting rejected for every single part-time job I applied for, and December was the worst month of the year as well. No question, I can't think of a single thing that went right last month. To Rickett, to Jackie Chansing! Hmm, guess it wasn't all bad. Happy New Year, guys. I'll keep it regular, he said. One episode every three to five days, he said. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yes, guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another episode of Saving Bray. I want to start the episode off by saying I'm really, really sorry for no uploads in the past couple of weeks. You might be wondering why this series went on a hiatus. Basically, the end of 2017 was one of the most stressful periods of my life, and I just didn't really feel like I could do a jokey series. I did try to record some episodes, but I couldn't really do the sort of overly enthusiastic style that I'm trying to do in this series and make it very funny. So I thought it was best to wait until I was feeling a bit better, but I am feeling much better now, and uh, I'm really excited to start making episodes again, because I love making this series. It's, it's really fun. And of course, to refresh your memories after what happened in the last episode, where well, you saw the goal, uh, the last episode featured the first game of the season, a 2-2 draw at home to Manchester City. What a start for Bray Wanderers. Trailing twice in the game, we scored two goals. Toss St. Ricketts was our first goal scorer this season, and uh, of course, Jackie rescuing us in stoppage time. And today, we've got two games, and they're both on the road as well. We take on Leicester at King Power Stadium, then Watford at Vicarage Road as well. These are going to be two really tests, uh, two tough tests away in England. And also, for those that didn't watch the series two years ago, you might be wondering what happens with the cup games in this series. Basically, we just simulate them, and I don't even show you the results. Uh, this series is called Saving Bray. It's all about keeping Bray in the Premier League. The cups mean nothing. We don't worry about them at all. So we just simulate the games and you don't even see them. So yeah, this Lincoln game may as well disappear from the calendar. And I was planning to possibly make a new signing in today's episode as well. But I'm just looking at the budget and I didn't realise how bad it was and how much I destroyed it by signing those players on the free transfers at the start of the season. 178 grand in the transfer budget, 6 grand in the wage budget. Yeah, I don't think we're making any signings today, so let's just get to the first game against Leicester. All right, here we go. Leicester City away. We drew our first game. They won their first game, but for our first test in England, I'm just targeting another point. This is such a tough challenge. Our away games, if we can get a point in all of them, I would call that a good result. I mean, it's not really what you want to hear, isn't it? I'll target a draw from our second game of the season, but you know, it's every point counts, all right? Every point counts. We just got to take into consideration how much better their team is to ours, though. They're playing a 4-4-1-1 for this game with Musa uh, supporting Jamie Vardy up top. A very quick centre forward and striker combination. They're going to be very hard to stop. Our back four will have their work cut out all game long. And as for our team, we are making no changes from the side that drew 2-2 with Manchester City. So 4-4-2. Toss ain't once again starting on that right-hand side. I really feel he'll be much better there this season. And of course, that man Jackie up top alongside Adam Ola Lookman as well. I'm nervous, don't get me wrong. First game away from home this season. But I remember last time I did this Saving Braid Challenge, we won at Leicester at the King Power Stadium. So no reason we can't do it again, but the, the draw is definitely something I would take in this game. You know, our first game away from home, it's going to be tough. Vardy's already outpaced Agassi. He's taken it round him, wins it back, flicks it inside, and Musa could have made it 1-0. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. Not an ideal start. Our first attack, though, is going to result in a corner. Encouraging there. Ten minutes in, Chumacero takes it in towards his man, Higazi, and Ricketts, oh! Toss St. Ricketts! That was season one, Toss St. Ricketts! The ball fell to him perfectly, and after his goal against Manchester City, I was thinking, he's, he's glowed up! He's a better player now. No, he's still rubbish. Dragovic, long ball to Jamie Vardy. Good first touch there, but I thought it might have been a handball as Thomas goes down the right-hand side and crosses. And at the far post, Amari Gray is arriving and hits the bar. And Musa turns in the rebound. And Leicester City go in front. Dear, oh dear. Well, sometimes you need a bit of luck when you're doing a challenge like this. And for this moment, we definitely didn't get it. The ball from Damari Gray's head hits the crossbar. Musa turns in the rebound and wasn't going to miss the open goal. 1-0. I did actually think that Vardy controlled it with his hand, though, didn't he? Ball goes up there. And isn't there a touch? Oh, look at that. Look at that. He didn't just touch his hand. It went through his hand. He defied the laws of physics to control the ball. It's got to be a yellow card. Oh, and now Moose released Jamie Vardy. 
And he's away from Connor Kenner. He's got the pace mark up at the back stick. And Mark Musa as well getting into the middle. It's two. It's two quick fire goals for the Foxes. Vardy to Musa. They double their lead 32 minutes in. I was targeting a point. I don't think we're going to get it. 2 0 down already. I mean, we know this challenge is a tough one. It really is difficult. But this has not been a great first half. Already trading by two. Jackie. Jackie. Releases Lookman who controls off oh, the post and Schmeichel dives on the rebound. Golden chance burned. Marty, long ball, finds Jamie Vardy. Vardy through to Musa down the right hand side, turns Ben Chilwell as if he wasn't even there. And away goes the two goal scorer into the middle. Gray's arriving, it's cleared, but Amati, oh my goodness. I mean, I know Wang's best asset is his kicking, but I didn't expect that. And that's definitely keeping Roy Carroll on the bench for now. What a showmanship. I mean, we are 2 0 down, so probably best not to be doing that at this point, but still. Musa crosses Vardy, oh my god. What was... How? That's not possible. Jamie Vardy has made it 3-0 to Leicester City with one of the most incredible goals I have ever seen the AI score on FIFA. Musa has been tearing us apart in the first half crosses. How has he done that? That is quite remarkable. That is impossible. Not just remarkable. How has Jamie Vardy just done that? Well, it's half time here at the King Power Stadium. And this has been one of the most bizarre 45 minutes worth of football I've ever played in FIFA. We're 3-0 down. It seems like the game's done. We've been torn apart. They've been the better team. But a couple of things that went on in this first half were just absolutely mad. How are we going to stay up if those sort of things happen against us all season long? Come on, Bray. Come on, Bray. Get energised. Lift yourselves up. Let's do a Liverpool versus Milan all those years ago. Come back from three. Oh, they're going to score a fourth, aren't they? They're going to score a fourth. Moose across is. Oh, God almighty. It's four. It literally just kicked off and it's 4 0. Come on, Bray. Let's regain our composure. Let's energise. Let's get out there and do a uh, Newcastle versus Arsenal all those years ago. Come on. Right, I'm not even going to bother anymore. It's 5 0. Forget it. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. We are trailing 5 0 to Leicester City here at the King Power Stadium. We are 5 0 down, and there's still just under 40 minutes to play. Where's all the confidence that we had in the Manchester City game? Leicester City are just tearing us apart. Musa Tavardi, if this becomes 6, I don't know what to. That's it, bring Roy Carroll on. This really is a sign of the times right now. Roy Carroll on for Wang. No wonder he's got his hands on his head right now. 6 0 to Leicester City, 56 minutes in. Unbelievable. No, not another. Not another. Not another. Please, not another. Oh, yes, Roy Carroll. Well done, old boy. And I'm just giving the ball away with him. And Vardy finds Musa and gets it back and scores. 7 0. Leicester City 7, Bray Wanderers 0. We drew 2-2 two -two with Manchester City on the opening day. How has this happened? This can't be real. Nothing this bad could actually happen in real life. There is no way we are trading by 7 goals to nil here. 67 minutes in. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. I've not turned on the PS4. I've not started recording today. I'm dreaming. I'm going to wake up in a minute and this is just going to be a terrible nightmare. We're 7 goals to nil down with 20 minutes still remaining. This could get into double digits. Don't let it become 8 0 in stoppage time, lads. Don't let it become 8 0. Gulam's cross, headed by Obor off the post, and Cortado get it away. And that is going to be the game. Leicester City 7, Bray Wanderers 0. I'm absolutely speechless. We never had a defeat anywhere close to as bad as this in season 1 of Saving Bray. It's now season 2, and this was our second game of the year. I mean, it's not great confidence to build on, is it? Man of the match, Jamie Vardy, for uh, doing some impossible things and grabbing the match ball as well. He did that during the game. No one batted an eyelid, but still. 7-0. I mean, 7-0. Like, you know, 4-0, 5-0. You know, those sort of results can happen sometimes. But 7-0 in match day two. I'm surprised I'm not going to get the sack. Carl Moore has been sold for 7... Oh, I don't want to say the number. He's, he's been sold. Carl Moore has been sold as well. And uh, there's a bit for, uh, for Connor Kenner as well. Uh, Grimsby want to take the captain, but uh, despite shipping seven goals as part of the back line, we're still going to keep him there. He's going nowhere. 7 0! I don't know what to say! Has a career mode YouTuber ever lost a game by seven goals to nil before? I don't think I've ever seen a career mode YouTuber lose a game by seven goals to nil. It's not the sort of thing I'm proud of, but it's good to be first in something.
This was supposed to be the year things went right for me. 2018. 2018, the year my life finally gets on track. And what happens, I come back for the first episode of Saving Brad a new year, and we lose 7-0 in the first game. And more transfer talks are broken down as well. I just don't know what to say. Mummy. Mummy, the game's too hard. I just want to win the game. It's so hard. How do we draw 2-2 with Manchester City on the opening day? How did that happen? That wasn't a real game, was it? That was not a real game. I don't know what happened in that game, but it wasn't a real one. That result didn't count. There is no way we drew 2-2 with Manchester City and then followed up with a 7-0 loss away at Leicester. That wasn't a real game. Roy Carroll starting this game as well. I'm putting him in a team. I trust the veteran to shut the door and pick up our first clean sheet of the season. I, I trust him. Not when I look at those physical stats, but you know, I, I trust him. I trust him. Right. Watford, Vicarage Road. Second away game of the season, third overall. Let's get a point. Let's not embarrass ourselves. Let's not concede more than five. We have conceded nine goals in the past two matches. We are coming up against a really decent Watford team. It's going to be tough, but I believe in the Bray Wanderers' dream. Come on! Our team is the same lineup as the one that lost 7-0 at Leicester City. You might be wondering why. It's because I rotated the entire team for the Lincoln game, so they're all fit enough to play this one. And I'm just thinking they couldn't do a much worse job than the one at the King Power Stadium. So they'll write their wrongs in this one, but there is one change. Roy Carroll is starting between the sticks. What is he going to do in his first start for Bray Wanderers? Come on, Bray Wanderers. Come on. It was a blip. All right, it happened. It's over. It's done. Forget about it. Move on. We are not going to concede as many goals in this game. Don't score straight away. Don't score straight away. Don't score straight away, for goodness sake! I don't even know what to say. I don't even... Ten goals have been conceded already, and we've only just begun our third game of the Premier League season. Carol, what was that? Oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like, I knew this challenge was going to be as tough as it was two years ago. I didn't realise it was going to get tougher. Jackie. Jackie. Striding forward, purposefully. Oh, He's lost his suit. Bray Wanderers have lost their discipline. I've lost the dressing room. I'm losing the plot at the moment. Positivity. Confidence. Optimism. All the things I no longer know. Oh, Roy Carroll, what a save. That was brilliant. Well, that was a quite remarkable reflex stop by Carroll. Terrible cameraman work, but either way, what a save by the veteran goalkeeper. And he's keeping us in this game. What a stop. Well, that's going to do it for half-time at Vicarage Road. We are losing, but not losing by as many as we were against Leicester. 1-0. Plenty to gain to get back in this one. Let's just keep our spirits up. I still think there's a chance. You know, I really, really do. I still think there's a chance to get back in this game. Plenty of time to go. And if we can string some good passes together, get a couple of attacks going, no reason we can't find an equalising goal. Ricketts to Brennan. Through the gap. Oh, Caicedo. Caicedo. Oh, what was that? Oh, my God. I get one great one-on-one -on -one chance in the entire episode, and I blaze the ball into Rose Ed. My word. When you're sat in Rose Ed and the ball hits your head, that's Caicedo. It's not exactly the song he wanted when he joined us. Jackie, into Cotal. Cotal to Ricketts. Ricketts to Tumacero. The Bolivian Schweinsteiger. Oh, good stop by Carnies. What a start to this second half. Come on, lads. We can do this. We can do this. Tumacero. Headed clear. He'll drop to Brennan. He can strike him. No, that was terrible. Oh, Jackie. 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 Oh, good stop by Carnesis. And Daryl Yama have read the corner. This second half has belonged to Bray Wanderers. We're still losing 1-0. But we've played very, very well. Laz, there's 20 minutes to go. And I honestly believe we could find an equalising goal. I really do. Come on. Chilwell, good defending. Back to Kenner. Oh, no! No! We were doing so well. And then I do something so stupid like that. That basically sums up my entire life. We're at a disadvantage. But we're trying hard. We're just quite unlucky. And then I do something so preposterously stupid, people will start questioning my sanity. It's sick form all over again. Oh, I just give up. I just give up. We were doing so well. And there was genuinely a chance we could find an equalising goal. And then I literally just gift Watford a second. 
Oh, for God's sake. Come on! Why am I such a moron? I am so annoyed at myself, man. I am so annoyed at myself. We were doing really well. It was a great spell of pressure. And I just gave them a second goal and gave them the three points. That's what Marco still was saying. You totally messed that one up, mate, didn't you? I mean, look at that stat sheet as well. Really, really balanced. If we were just a little bit more clinical and I didn't give them a second goal, we could have got a point. We could have got a really crucial point, but instead we lose both our games today. I mean, to be fair, we didn't concede as many goals as the Leicester game. We conceded five fewer, so that's definitely something. But, oh, I've only got myself to blame for that one, man. That is a massive missed opportunity, and, and in a challenge like this, you have to take every single opportunity to get points on the board, man. That is a huge slip-up. And I think we are going to leave it there, because I don't want to embarrass myself any further. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Saving Bray, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it despite what was a terrible start. We end the episode off in the relegation zone with 11 goals conceded in the first three games, but we're not bottom. Crystal Palace are and Southampton are in 19th place as well. So, I mean, I'm not going to say they're positives to draw on, but, you know, they're not ultra negatives. But thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome evening, and I'll see you for the next episode of Saving Bray very soon. I just feel like a total idiot. This is 2018 and nothing's changed. What is wrong with me?